Welcome back to the new segment of Grappling with Insanity, the inaction portion. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to cover the bicep slicer and I'm doing it with a live partner. So what I'm reviewing with the dummy for solo training, I'm going to show you the live in action way it looks on a real person. So stick around, check it out. First one's gonna be the bicep slicer. Bicep slicer comes on fast and it's pretty painful right off the bat. One of the top 10 dangerous legal moves to do in competition. The reason why I say it's dangerous is because typically the person that's having done on them, they think they can fight and survive a lot longer than they really should. Meaning what happens is when you, put your, when you shove your arm in or your shin, uh, what happens is you're creating leverage over the fulcrum of your arm and you're really putting a lot of pressure on the bicep. You think you can fight out of it because it's not really, I mean, there's some pain there, some discomfort. But what happens later on is it really does some damage to the muscle and you'll feel this for a few days afterwards, uh, even some real light ones. So when I'm doing the technique here, I'm not really pulling or pushing with my legs away because it's it's very painful right off the bat. It's the reason why it's considered dangerous. Now, as it's not illegal, you can definitely do them. I just want you to be careful when you're doing these. Again, pay attention to your partner's pain. You hurt your partner, you lose a training partner. So, and then you have to train with dummies. And the dummies don't care. They're dumb. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. I'll answer them as quick as I can.